You need two $5 bills. The child who drops the money first loses and the winner keeps the money. Hours of peace. You can thank us later. Oh man. Why wasn't my mom this cool when I was growing up? <laughs> That's when your older sister tells you to drop it and she'll split it with you. Oof, looks like I'm gonna be busy for a while. I will respect my parents. I will look them in the eye. I will communicate kindly. <laughs> oh, ouch. I like how he's writing one word at a time. <laughs> Finally finished. Damn, bro, how long did that take you? That's savage. Hey guys, come help out my little girl make some money for her Christmas present that Santa, myself, will have to buy her. <laughs> what? What happened to Santa's elves? Don't they make the presents? Not gonna lie though, 25 cent cupcakes? That's a fucking steal. I have a friend looking for an essential oil that will help children sleep. Something similar to chloroform, but all natural and less illegal. DM me if you know of something. <laughs> uh, we're looking for something like chloroform. Basically, I'm just trying to gas my children to sleep. There's gotta be an essential oil for that. Sweet. Did you delete Facebook? Huh? Am I blocked? <gasps> I saw it yesterday. What the heck? I saw it a minute ago. Now it disappeared. I deactivated it. Literally five minutes ago? Why? I can't know any about your life. Why, why? Why can't I know you anymore? <laughs> Cause you're a crazy bitch, Karen. Your ass really gonna leave me on scene? <laughs> hey dude, Lamau, sorry. My dad reads my messages and then never tells me. Legit just seeing this now. He has access to my Facebook from his computer. <laughs> Apparently this dude's 25 and married. The only time he's been away from his father for longer than a few days was when he served in the army. Yeah, he can serve his country, but he can't have privacy on his own Facebook. When your teenager is back talking you, just zip tie their mouth shut. <laughs> so ready for to get his bottom braces. Splatoon 2 is bad for your kids. One star. This game is disgusting. When I bought my kid this game, I would accept this game to have family friendly moments, but no. My child had been swearing more. I would ask who's the best character in the game. He says Marina. I ask why. He points to her chest. I was disgusted. Nintendo, I'm sending a lawsuit right now. You better change it or else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nintendo, you've outdone yourselves yet again. He didn't want to take a bath, so I took a picture while he was sleeping and edited it with cockroaches. Now he takes a bath 10 times a day. Genius mom of boys. Cockroaches? Come on. He didn't even do a good job photoshopping. I guess that's not insane, that's just a little bit weird in my opinion. At least do a better job photoshopping the damn cockroaches. You still at Whataburger? No, on my way home very shortly. Where are you? You asked if you could go to Whataburger. Driving to school, left my car there so I wouldn't have to find parking again. Why are you on Berry Hill Road? That's not near the school. Didn't go on the main road because there were too many kids. I can send you a picture of the school right now if you want me to. Ah, <laughs> oh, this sounds like some crazy girlfriend you do not want to have. Where are you at right now? I'm at Chick-fil-A getting some f***ing sandwiches. Now you're cheating on me with Sarah. No, bitch. I'm cheating on you with this chicken sandwich. Hey, what's wrong? My mom just f***ing cut off the power in the whole house to switch off my PS4. What the f***? <laughs> oh man, she asserted her dominance. This is his mom. I have taken control of all his Facebook accounts and he will not be getting them back. In addition, I will also be deleting this account and reporting all of you to the authorities. This is not the son I raised. I raised my son to be respectful of other women and to be a good feminist. The internet has ruined him, and he now refers to himself as a lord. You guys did this to him and I am putting an end to it. If he refuses to live a worthwhile life, then I will live his life for him. Goodbye and I hope your parents are as disappointed in you as I am disappointed in my son. <laughs> be honest, he still lives in your basement, doesn't he? 
<laughs> she raised him to be a good feminist, okay? The internet ruined him. This is serious. We need more context on this. Are we going to ignore the fact that the word hell was used in an episode of Pokemon? That is a kid's show. I've returned from the depths of hell once more to defeat you. <laughs> We're talking Pokemon now. And since when is hell a bad word? H-E double hockey sticks. I told my son to put his bike up two times or I would cut it in half. Guess who's walking? And I know that I could given it to someone else. I'm not raising a po- And I made him cut it in half. But it didn't get stolen. We know what happened to it. He will learn. Life is rough. I didn't buy that bike to be stolen. Ah, <laughs> uh, insane dad of the month goes to this dude. That bike looks brand new. But no, he's got to teach his son a lesson. He's not raising no From the makers of Mousetrap and Don't Wake Daddy comes this new game. Baby not included. And why all of a sudden are you off the grid? Not yet, and what do you mean? I'm on the Wi-Fi. I haven't touched the app. <laughs> 850 messages. So they track this kid 24 hours a day. And they probably limit the amount of time they get. That's not insane at all. Come on. That's not crazy. Standing by a mom, dad, and their two kids to meet Stitch at Disney World. Real quotes from the parents to kids. The dad. If you don't settle down, I will smack you hard. Mom. If you don't let go of my arm, I will scratch you until you bleed. Pathetic pieces of shit. Go f yourselves to death. This is definitely not the happiest place on earth. That might be false advertising. I just looked at the Iron Maiden website and a video. It is straight from the devil. My heart just keeps breaking over and over. Mom, it's just an 80s metal band. Dad has their cassettes in the basement from when he used to listen to them. It's fine. He said he didn't, but I don't know. I will look. I just know that I watched the video, The Number of the Beast, and it is sickening. It is not fine. Just the picture alone on their website is sickening. Praying for your mind, eyes, and ears for what the concert is going to do to you. <laughs> now she's going to go and find all the cassette tapes and burn them all. Damn it, Karen. <laughs> Am I the asshole for making my children pay for their own portion of our family vacation? We had been planning on going on vacation to Cuba for the Christmas holidays for a week. It's pretty pricey during the Christmas holidays, but that's the only time we can all go. We have three children, 20, 15, and 12, who we are making them pay for their own ticket and part of the hotel since we wouldn't be financially stable enough to pay for five plane tickets and such. My 12-year-old daughter has been complaining that since the other two have jobs and she doesn't, that it's not fair. However, we've decided to stick firm with it and be equal to them all. Their other option if they don't want to pay is staying at grandma's. She has savings which are just enough to cover the vacation, but she also wants to save up for a phone. My other two children aren't happy that they have to pay for their own, but they are willing to since we'd be going to Cuba. Am I the asshole for making them pay? <laughs> yeah, you're the asshole. Hey guys, we're going to take a family vacation. We're all going to Cuba. You just got to pay your way there and for part of the hotel. Me and your mom here aren't that stable financially and if you can't afford it, you just stay at grandma's house. You know, we'll have our little family vacation without you, okay? Don't you worry about it. Who wants to bring me and Lauren smokes? You don't need smokes. You're pregnant. I've slowed down. I was smoking a pack and a half and now I'm back to a pack. At least I'm not smoking meth anymore, lol. That should count for something, right? <laughs> God damn it. Anymore? What do you mean anymore? I mean, it counts for something, but f it really? If you're 17, you can't be bisexual because it's just the thing everyone says in high school. Before I start, that's what my mom said and I do not believe it. Yeah, my mom doesn't believe I'm bisexual because I'm 17 and in high school. You're of age to drive a car, but no, you're not able to choose if you're bisexual yet or not. That is not okay. <laughs> no one should have to go through that nonsense. That's just silly. Come on now. Is Pokemon Let's Go a Christian game? No, because it has fire in it. Review of Pokemon Go. Unnecessary violence. Two stars. 
This game only has two reviews from fellow parents, and they're both positive, even coming from a Christian father. I must say I'm quite disappointed. My children were lucky to get a Nintendo Swatch for Christmas this year. A now ex-friend of mine suggested I buy the game for Jeremy. Big mistake. Since then, he has begun playing this game non-stop. I've watched him and what I saw was incredibly disturbing. The idea of Pokemon is to catch Pokemans. But to do this, you have to kill them. This idea is absurd to me. To my surprise, the game did not have any gore, unlike what I have seen Andrew watching. Andrew is no longer allowed to watch TV without my husband Zach checking on him. The game has certain attacks to mutilate the animals in this game. While watching Jeremy, I saw fire being used. I like to keep my son away from fire as it is a symbol of hell. And this was incredibly shocking to see in a children's game. On the bright side, there is little communication in the game from what I've seen, and that is helpful to parents who would like to protect their children from danger. However, it is not worth it for this game. <sighs> Two stars? Come on now. Get your damn Nintendo Swatch out of here with your Pokemans. Flat Earth Education. My son sent me this during school, and I am furious. I believe the school is trying to get kids to believe the Earth is round, and now my son is following their beliefs. Oh boy, if he comes around my house believing that, he gon' get a taste of my 12 gauge shotgun. I'm gonna murder my son because he isn't an idiot. <laughs> uh. The earth isn't round or flat, okay? It's velociraptor shaped. That's gonna do it for today's episode on Insane Parents. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy the episode, and stay salty everyone. Peace.